Hello fathers, this is the Operation Fatherhood channel, something else to think about. And also, dear Elijah and Elena, because one day, if you all are meant to have children, maybe there's something for you all to think about. But to fathers, let me, let me encourage you all, let's encourage each other, okay, to remember, I think two things. Uh, one, keep our anger in check, and the second thing is really related to it. Never be about abusing the one or the ones that we love. And let me go ahead and say why I'm touching on this again. So recently I've read about a couple of stories. Uh, one is in the, the town that I'm I'm living in. Uh, and also another is about a family member of mine. So they, these are two young ladies that were uh, murdered by two men. And presumably uh, by two men that they had been in relationships with. Uh, I'm not quite sure about the, the young lady that I read about in time, but, I, but from what I've seen, I think that is the case. And that happens too often, right? Um, you know, I'm sure that many, many of you all have heard of stories before about how uh, women who have been in, in abusive relationships for a long time, sometimes men, but it's very rarely, but many times it's women have been in abusive, abusive relationships for a long time. And then uh, they end up being being uh, murdered by those men that they were in relationships because they, um, I mean, it could be any number of reasons, but many times they, they think they could change that man or that man, or they believe that man will change, that he will not be, um, he will not be an abusive person for a long time or, or, or in the future or whatever when they're dating them, Okay. But one thing is to important to remember that um, you should remember that abused people abuse people. Um, and that's not to say that it happens all the time. There, are, I've met people who grew up in abusive households and relationships, but they they're not abusive in the present or in the future. Or they they got counseling or grew up from it, right? But the old saying goes, and many times that is the case that abused people do abuse people. So you need to watch yourself. But the reason I'm saying as fathers, we need to make sure that we are uh, being an example to our children. And you may hear my children in the background is that it is so important for us to, to really uh, show the importance of keeping our anger in check. Like you might have righteous anger, but you don't need to respond in anger. Does that make sense? So, of course, you might have heard that tapping uh, from my children or uh, ask me a question. But it's real quick. Um, so, again, uh, remembering that, you know, like I said before, sometimes you will get angry. I think that's, that's always possible. I've read stories and heard of people say, well, my father never yelled, uh, never got angry and stuff like that. That's great. Uh, you know, I, I wish I was that kind of dad. My kids love me, I think, but, um, sometimes for me to get their attention, I, I raise my voice. I, I, I really do. Um, but the thing is, is that so far when my wife and I've had disagreements, They've seen me be, you know, angry, not in the sense of yelling, because I don't really like yell that that screaming at the top of my voice type of stuff. I I, I saw that as a kid um, from different couples it made me uncomfortable. I mean, you know, like, made my, you know, I got a lot of anxiety hearing people yell at, you know, folks that they said they supposedly love. So I try my best not to do that. I try not to get that loud. Like my voice may be raised than higher than it is now, but I'll be like, hey, What's wrong with you? And hey, what's going on? Like I'm not. That's that's too much. As a father, as a man of the household, as a husband, if your voice is getting to that level, you you need to check yourself. You need to go ahead and say, you know what? I'm clearly angrier than angry, and I'm getting angrier. As my mother used to tell me, you getting that angry? Pray about it, or you know, immediately tell your spouse or your loved one. Let me go get a break for a minute. I love you, okay, but I just need a break. OK, let me get back. Let me get back with you a little later because I'm getting much angrier than I need to be. OK, because uh, anger does can translate to abuse and uh, or, or move towards abuse um, in a number of different ways um, from uh, trying to belittle your spouse to physically harming them. OK. And if you ever get into the point where you're getting getting thoughts about harming your spouse, then you need some help. You need to go get counseling or something like that. My point is, is that especially us having children, you want to be an example to your children of how to keep your anger in check. OK, um, how to let people around, you know, that I am angry and, and also let folks know if you're having these inappropriate thoughts about harming someone else, uh, especially your loved one. 
then get help for it. Go talk to that. Talk, not just talk to that person. Seek out, you know, professional help. You know, sometimes it's good to go to a, a preacher or a priest or whatever, but not all those folks have, you know, actual training in helping you as well. OK, you should never ever want to be getting that angry. One, you should never want to get so angry to the point that you'll harm your wife um, or your baby's mother. OK, but hopefully it's your wife. And last but not least, you want your children to, to know what it is to keep their anger in check, but also to love and respect the persons that are around them. And when they get married or that when they get married, that they don't stay around for abusive relationships, because many times when you get abused once, it's typically not something that goes away, unfortunately. OK, so again, to the fathers out there, keep your anger in check. All right. And don't abuse your wife. Keep your hands to yourself. If you need help, go get help. Something to think about.